Hi guys, I'm Satcha Diagnostic World. I'm gonna show you how to replace the ABS sensor, the rear ABS sensor on your Mercedes E-Class. Uh, it's the W211 E-Class, so that's any E-Class from 2002 through to 2009 onwards. We'll show you the complete process from diagnosing the ABS lights on your dashboard with a diagnostic scanner via the OBD2 port. And then we'll go take the ABS sensor out, um, put the new ABS sensor in, and then make sure the ABS lights are completely clear from the dashboard uh, of your Mercedes E-Class. Let's go take a look. Now this is the telltale sign that you do have a faulty ABS sensor. Um, we'll zoom in here, you can see we've got the ABS warning light showing on this dial. In the middle we've got ABS ESP inoperative C owner's manual and we've got the ESP warning light showing on there as well. Um, so that tells us that there is a fault within the ABS system. Um, the next thing you'd need to do is sort of hook it up to a diagnostic tool to actually find out where exactly the problem is. Now, there are a few areas where the problem could be. First of all, it will most likely be an ABS sensor. Uh, there are four ABS sensors in the vehicle, uh, one on each wheel. We have the ABS module and we also have the ABS pump. Now the, the hopeful scenario is that it would be an ABS sensor because these are generally the cheapest to replace. If you need to replace an ABS pump or an ABS module, that's big money, especially on one of these cars. Um, so fingers crossed that it is gonna be an ABS sensor. Now uh, to hook this uh, car up to, well what we need to do is hook this up to a diagnostic tool. Uh, first of all, to find out which ABS sensor is at fault. Okay, so we've hooked it up to the iCarsoft i930, um, which is a multi-system scan tool for Mercedes, and uh, well, it also works for Sprinter and smart vehicles. Um, you can actually buy this kit just by clicking the link below this video. Um, but we've uh, we've already sort of diagnosed the fault, and we've got fault 44F1 l6 slash 4 rear right speed sensor test wiring plug connection uh, so it looks like there was a fault with the rear left uh, sorry the rear right abs sensor um, so what we need to do is we need to replace that sensor uh, we'll go out now we'll jack the vehicle up and uh, take that sensor out put the new sensor in and then what we'll do is uh, we'll come back into the vehicle and we should be able to erase the trouble codes and get rid of the warning light on the dashboard. Right, first thing, jack up the vehicle. And then you can go on ahead and remove the wheel. On the inside of the arch lining you will find two rivets. One going in there, and one going in there. You need to pull these out. Don't worry about ruining these. Uh, replacements are quite cheap. And get a 10 for about three pounds. There are then two screws we need to do. We need to do this one here and this one here. This is so we can pull the arch lining back. And we're using a 10 mil for this job. Once you've got those out, you need to then look underneath here and you will see a screw here which is 8mm, so we then need to go ahead and get this one out. Alright, now once you've done that, you will be able to pull back this arch lining. Now I'm just going to take you around the back and underneath. You can see that those are the connections, the electrical connections for the ABS sensor. So you need to pull out a, put a flathead screwdriver in and there is a, if you look there's like a silver metal clip at the top, you need to pull that out and that will allow you to um, remove the relevant clip. Um, just following the ABS wiring all the way down, it goes through there and it comes back 
right here and the ABS sensor itself goes into there so you need to get a torque screw and I believe it is a 10 just pull that out and then the whole sensor will actually come out and just unclip it from its varying fixing points throughout and then you should be able to take the sensor out and put the new sensor in so this is the clip I was telling you about we've now got that out And as you can see, we've pulled out the relevant sensor connection. All right, so we are now back in the vehicle after putting in the new ABS sensor. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and erase the trouble codes. As you can see on the dashboard here, the warning lights are no longer lit up after starting the engine that's because the ECU has recognized that there is a, a working replacement ABS sensor uh, connected up we're just going through the process of selecting our vehicle here and we go into the adaptive brake see the lights have come back on now that's because we are um, interrogating the ABS system uh, so we'll just go straight into clear fault memory please wait clear trouble codes successfully and then once we start coming out of this there we go we see the lights have gone completely so there it is uh, ABS sensor replacement on this W211 uh, Mercedes-Benz E-Class and this is the iCarSoft i980 from Diagnostic World it's www.diagnostic-world.com uh, or you can click the link directly below this video thanks very much for watching